Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophin at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to XCOM 2, the Valkyrie playthrough. I've made a few adjustments to our squad, and I still need to equip um, the best gear. But uh, as you can see, I made some visual changes as well, so each of our Valkyries is a bit more um, specific. A bit more outspoken as a, a visual character as well. So Kelly is now in red and white. Uh, Heidi still has her lovely green. Sarah has turned to blue. Elena is now a uh, golden reaper. Then uh, Christina I kept her in that brown. I think it suits her well with the armor. And I think I've given Lena a bit. Uh, just a tiny bit of an armor pattern. But let's equip them with the best gear we have. And I swapped out Sarah for Marina as well, so that she can level up a little bit further. So we have four people that could level up in this mission. So we're going to investigate the Black Side coordinates, so the Advent Forge on Operation Doomstorm with Kelly, Heidi, Marina, Elena, Christina and Lena. So uh, here we go. So the location is just marked as the wilderness somewhere in the US. And we're dropping in to our first really weebly weebly forest bit and there we go lena gets her first focus Avenger. the facility is in range move to investigate so we're looking at about 12 aliens um so one of them is a sector bolt we didn't bring the bring the blue screen rounds but we did bring a double emp bomb in marina so that should be enough to deal with that uh so there we go double emp bomb so we should be fine. So let's move up and I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, and we see ooh, an Archon and a Muton dropping in after our first turn. Is that it? Just two of these guys. Interesting. Um, we might as well get a nice shot off here. Um... So Elena has a nice shot on the Muton and that should shred his armor already. But before we do that, we might take a look at our other options. I could actually start with a rend on the Archon and that takes off a nice chunk of his health because of course Archons are annoying to hit. It's going to take two damage on the Muton as well. So might as well do that. There we go. Templar in as an ambush strike. I mean, yeah, of course. And that didn't hit the Muton because the Muton has armor, probably. There we go, Arc on the Muton. And nothing else, which is good. That is fine, that is fine. That looks actually pretty good. So, let's put... Elena actually has a few positions that she can take. We need to be careful. She's still in shadow, so might as well use her as a flanker right now. I go where I'm needed. So if I put it over here, she has a flank shot on the Muton. It has a 50% chance to reveal me, but if I crit, I might even kill it. Um, let's try that. That's at least the armor gone. And revealed. Okay, we did get a flank shot from that. Now, I can get closer with Christina. Christina has a, a few abilities we can use. So first off, she has 65% chance to fire at the Muton. But let's start with the Archon. Lightning hands. Oh, and she is using the Plasma Pistol now instead of the... The Shadow Keeper, which is annoying. But let's now do a face-off. That might actually kill both of them if they both hit. First one is a hit and a kill. And oh, we missed the Muton. And the Archon is freaking out. He's doing a little dance on the floor there. Um, I think if I put Kelly a bit closer, she might have a nice shot. At the Muton there. 58 is still not ideal. Combat Protocol would kill it, so I might actually just take a look at our other people and let them have a shot first. So Marina move up. And fire 73, that should be a hit, right? Come on Marina, there we go. There we go. Indeed, you can't handle her. 
And he's also doing a little dance. Yeah. He's having issues. Okay. He calmed down. Okay. That's the first two down. Easy. Easy. Moving up. And I think we get a chosen. Yeah. The warlock is back. That is annoying, because he's, of course, at the other side of the facility. So, can summon savage allies, reveals concealed units, regenerates lost health and immune to melee damage, but still takes increased damage from close range attacks and skirmishes, but we don't have skirmishes. So... I may strike you down. Okay. That's annoying. But I'm gonna let him come to us, if Chosen possible. Chosen going to make this easy for us. Keep your heads down and press forward. This is going to be a long to get mission. To their location to take them out. Indeed. Your forces will perish, and you will return to the elders, Commander. So let's reshadow uh, Elena and use her as a scout. We're, it's pretty straightforward for now, just moving up. So see you guys in a second. So on the next turn. He moved up, put a few people on Overwatch, but the Warlock is just jabbering on. Chosen action. He might summon some stuff. Yeah, Spectral Zombies. But we're on Overwatch just for something like that. Oh, he actually made three this time. That is interesting. So one of them is gonna die. Uh, not from that. But it is going to die from... Yeah, this. That's annoying. Could have killed that with a pistol shot, but... Oh, wow. Well, we miss, but we still get three damage, which should it be enough to kill it. Wait, how? Wait, what? What? That's not correct, is it? That is not correct. Hi. So they just move along. I don't think any of them have used their ability just yet. Spectral Rupture. Okay, that guy did. Um, but I can work around that. So only that one is poised to blow up. Okay, let's take a look. Let's put uh, Elena a little bit further. There is a giant chasm over here. So I need to cross this bridge. So let's put her over there. To see if she spots anything uh, uh, any further there. Not just yet. Okay. Then we can use... Christina with a pistol to take some of these out. Um, let's move Kelly away. And same goes for Heidi. 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 There we go. Heidi. Um, Heidi should probably go... Over here next to Kelly. Confirmed. And I think Marina might be able to... Uh, you know, because we're still looking at... Oh, Marina can't see them. That is weird. Oh, that pole must be in the way then. Let's see. Let's put Marina over here. Let's do this. She's a little to the side here, but we kind of know from Elena that there should not be enemies over here. So 98% on the exploding zombie. And let's blast them away. And that damages the other zombie as well. And then we can use Christina's pistols um, at... No, pistol. There we go, fire pistol. Once. Flammo. And then I think we can do that again. Because she has the ability to fire twice with her pistol. And Kablamo. I don't care about your spectral zombies, warlock. Let's move Lena closer to the bridge as well. And then we'll uh, put everybody else on Overwatch. Or maybe closer as well. Okay, next alien turn. We see an officer and a shield bear, I think. Yeah, that's an officer and a shield bear. And because of, of course, Elena's ability, we will continue to see them since she spotted them now. Chosen action. What is he going to do next? Summon some more crap, or is he just going to move up this time? Seems pretty quiet. Okay. Um, otherwise, we would have seen that, probably. Um, Lena can just about reach the officer, but I don't want to risk anything just yet. 
So, but I do want to get the first shield in. Christina can't see them from here, so I think I'm just going to move up slowly. Get everybody to basically the same position. Um, and I think she's safe behind Lena, because Lena didn't spot anything. So if we move everybody close to her, we should still be fine. So the bridge is a bit annoying. Um, it seems like these guys are just moving to the cliff for some reason. We can still see them, though, because of Elena's ability. Because she can see them through the fog if she spotted them once. Now, the Chosen. Is he going to do something fancy again? Doesn't seem like it. Okay. Let's move up with Elena. Because Elena can go just a little bit further to see. You know what? I just want to see if we can't move uh, anybody else a little bit closer. So, Elena can't she see them anymore. So, I... I think if I put Kelly over here, no we should still be fine. Yes, okay. That's good. So I'm just going to continuously move everybody closer. So we can react to whatever happens Otherwise. next. Oh god, I think she might have actually triggered them. Ah, crap. Okay. No problem, we can deal with that. We can deal with that, because... They haven't really thought about their position too much there. If I put Heidi over here, do I have a flank shot on the officer? Yes, I do. It's not the best shot, but it's something. I could even go for rapid fire, but that's just 50-50 then. Although a double 50-50 might actually be better than... Because I still have the same crit chance. So let's try that. Rapid fire on the officer. That's a miss. And then, uh, a graze. Okay. Hardly did anything. Yeah, hardly did anything indeed. But, um, that's a 65% shot. We still have a sniper rifle shot on the shield bay there. Huh. Lena could technically rend the officer. How much health does the officer have left? Seems like he has 12 left. You know what does that electric storm do damage wise? Ionic storm, 3 to 5 damage. Okay, not that bad, but nothing to, well, write home about either. Um, so let's see, how much damage do I do with Rend at the moment? 8 and 9. So it's not going to kill the officer or the shield bay if I tried it on him. And I risk spotting it, something else, of course. So I'm going to keep her in the back here. Because if I can fire at one with Volt, although I think I might not see any of them anymore after this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I can. I can still she see the shield bear. I could do Volt. Let's do that. Volt on the shield bear. So that's four and no jump. Okay, fair enough. What else do we have? Christina still has an 85% shot on the shield bay. He has been weakened by that vault. So let's try that, because that was 70 before. Aha! He's burning. That could be too damage, but I can't really risk it. Now can I? I could do combat protocol to avoid him getting shields. And I probably should, because the shot is 67, which is definitely not a guarantee. And it's my final shot. There we go. Gremlin inbound. So at least the officer doesn't get a... Uh, I don't know what's happening. I think he died. He died off screen. The game was uh, trying to censor that death. And Elena could give another charge to Lena. But that would be a waste at this point. So let's just put it on Overwatch. That one officer is fine, I think. So he's marking... Ooh, Marina is out in the open there. Heidi is marked. Oh, there's a sector pod. But he doesn't get a turn, I think. I hope. Okay. I have, a, I have an idea for the sector pod. Ah, we get more spectral zombies. Okay, three more zombies. That's not that bad. We still have Christina with uh, face-off. So she might be able to take most of those out. 
But of course, if one of them starts rupturing, he doesn't. But the other one might. I hope I don't blow up the... I, I would suppose that you can blow up that bridge. Spectral rupture. Yup. Yup. Let's see. Do we have a shot at the Sactopod? We do. That's actually 96. I could take care of all the armor of the Sactopod with Lena now. Uh, Elena now. Um, and if I move her closer, that would also be nice. Wait. So first things first. I want to go with Elena to the officer now. So she can do a rent on the officer. Uh, not like that, like this. Although like this is probably safer. Yeah, she doesn't have any focus, so the wave is not going to do anything. So let's just put her... You know what? Wide out in the open is not bad. She gets parry after this. So rend on the officer. My strike surges forth. And slash. So that's seven on the officer. That's it, my push. And we get side on the facility. That kind of spooked me a little bit. Because I thought there was going to be more enemies. Because remember. We saw two at the beginning. Then the officer and the shield bear. And then the sector bolt. There's only five of the 12 enemies yet because the warlock probably doesn't count although he might actually count um now marina how far can you launch that emp bomb far enough far enough so damage and disorient mechanical units in the target area that should be good. So I'm just going to cancel that now. Because uh, I want to... Hello? Hello? Do I need to cancel again? Okay. Um, I put it just a little bit further. I think over here is fine. Let's move already. And then I can use the EMP bomb on her. On Well, not on her. But on the sectopod and the officer. I was probably not going to do anything on the officer. Take this. But I want to be certain... EMP bomb, because that's why we have those. Blammo. And that's hack defense decreased. So I would love to check out the hack defense now. So, Kelly. Where's Kelly? Kelly. Give me Kelly. There's Kelly. Kelly, go closer. Heading out. And see what you can do with haywire protocol i just want to check what the percentages are because this hack defense has been decreased so i would think that i'm now able to just take him over it's still only 28 and 55 percent okay let's cancel that i have an alternate plan i don't need to take over the sector pod now that i know that there's not really a problem at the moment so Let's run and gun Heidi to put her... Ooh, this might be a little bit tricky, but I want to kill the officer as well. So I think if I put her over here, she's wide out in the open. But with a kill, I'm invincible. So that doesn't really matter. So if I kill the... Officer now. Blamo. That's that. And Lena gets that extra focus, I would think. Now, we still have Callie's movement as well. Callie. Callie. Callie can do a focus strike on whatever we want. But of course, we need to be careful. Um, Lena, why don't you grab that focus while you're at it? Oh, great. It's the same bug. I can't pick up the. Wait. It's supposed to be this, right? Aha. It doesn't highlight it, but I can still pick it up and select it. Okay. There we go. So that's picked up. Now. Extra move available. That's fine. But. First things first. I want to focus on. Vanishing. The Sectopoles. So that's going to be. My complete. Ammo supply run dry. Okay. Um, we also still have Christina. Wait, can I do lightning hands? 
Why is that marked like that? It was green for a second there. Uh, none of the zombies are rupturing. No, no, no. That guy is rupturing. So if I can kill it with a lightning hand, it might take out the rest of the zombies as well. That's four. That's fine. I can still fire again. So let's do a pistol shot on the back zombie. So he's going to blow up. There we go. I think that... Did that kill the other one? No. We still have face off. So let's do that now and kill those other two zombies. Because I wanted to make sure that the zombies are dead before I take out the, uh, the sector vault. And these are guaranteed kills. There we go. The Shadow Keeper actually does more consistent damage, which is interesting. So let's use the Outrider, Elena, as... Uh, a weakness, so banish on the sector bolt. Blamo, 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 blamo. It's gonna probably just disappear now. There we go. So four armor shredded and seven damage, which is not a lot for six ammo. I must have missed a few shots in between there as well. Oh, I'm still not done. That's five more damage. And another one, or? It's that, that animation is really weird. I think... 96%. I think this should be enough to just kill it outright. There we go. There we go. Uh, and I can even pick up the, the ammo as well if I want to. But I'm not going to. I'm just going to put me in a little bit of a better position. And then parry Lena. Okay, we got out of that pretty okay. Didn't even get hit. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. We're doing very, very nicely. So that's five enemies down. Aha, there we go. We managed to actually hit one of the mechs through the door. I think it's a mech. Or is that the... That's a Lancer. Oh, it's an armored Lancer. Okay, Lancer, Officer and Mech. Which means that we're only one pulled away from the final group. And everybody's on Overwatch, so that's fine. We missed, but we did still get two damage. Shot failed to connect. And then Lena, yeah, gets a pistol, but that usually doesn't do anything. Don't really care about that. Oh, me. The time for hiding is over. But I think Heidi still has a shot. Oh no, Heidi did, did, did just do a shot, and that's Kelly. There we go. Blamo. Four more damage on the mech. Aha. And another one from Elena. There we go. Shredding. Is it going to go into Overwatch? The Lancer comes out as well. And the Chosen does another thing as well. More Spectral Zombies. Okay. Oh, we got an automatic Blade Strike. Oh, yes. I am glad I took that ability now. Look at that. Just Heidi, Heidi kills one of them. And then another one probably. There we go. You don't get to get close. You get an assassin blade up the face. Where's the third one? Is he gonna come closer as well? Um, just Heidi, don't blade storm him if he's gonna rupture. Okay. Please don't do that now because he's gonna blow up otherwise. We'll make a fitting sacrifice for the elders. We might. We might. But not today, buddy. Not today. Okay. I don't have run and gun. And some of these guys are actually in pretty solid cover. Let's see. Because I think both of them are in full cover, yeah. The mech is not going to be a problem. Um, but I think it's high time I start using some of those claymores, right? Claymore shrapnel. I can't put them close enough, but... If I move up... I, will reposition. I can actually get a very nice... Claymore in there. Ooh, remote starts on the car there. No, I really have a use for that. So if I do this, yeah, like that. I can put down the Claymore. And then Christina, indeed. Christina. You need to be careful because, of course, there's a, a few people still too close to the zombie to do anything with that. Um, Christina doesn't have face off yet. But she does have sight on the claymore. Yeah, let's blow that up with a pistol. 
Oh, that just doesn't kill the uh, the mech over there. Okay. Let's see what else we have. Kali could probably take care of the zombie without getting damaged. Elena can go and rend the uh, Lancer. So that's definitely something I'm going to do. Because now he's uh, weakened. I think this is just not going to do anything to the mech, which is sad. But there we go. Moving up. And slash. Just didn't hit the mech. That's too bad. And she gets another focus, bringing her up to maximum, if I counted that correctly. Or not. It didn't. Heidi. Heidi can just blast the uh, the officer in the face, I think. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Like this. And then let's... Ooh, okay. Their advent. Yes, and judging by the subject's condition, I would say it was recently manufactured. No wonder they just keep coming. Okay, so that's that. No biggie. I don't see the last pull just yet, which is good, because I would know how to deal with that at the moment. Um, let's fire at... Ooh, why is he still that tough to hit? 76. There he goes. Very dramatically, but he goes all his ass. Hostile neutralized. Indeed. Hostral. Ho hostral? Hostral neutralized. Kelly, can you please take care of that spectral zombie? I don't think the explosion radius is that big. Only the best. Wow, it does take out her cover. Um, but then, last but not least, let's use Christina's final pistol shot to take out the mech. Oh, we missed that 80% sh chance shots. Okay, that's fine. We still have Marina. Marina can get a bit closer. Because Marina isn't uh, the... Well, she doesn't hit all that often. 98%. That should hit, right? That should hit. There we go. There we go. Clean. Clean. Well, two. And you got the promotion out of that. Um, Heidi can move... Hmm... I think I can move over here into full cover, I think. Although I might just put her right next to Lena. Moving. I do want to avoid getting uh, spotted by the last batch of enemies there. But if I can get her closer, all the better. And a parry. Because we still have the Warlock. Don't forget about that guy. He's probably still hiding in the back of the building. Oh no, you won't. You have to... Okay. Didn't expect her to get uh, burned there, because I thought the powered armor protected against burn damage. Probably just against poison and the like, but okay. Never mind, let's just move her out of there, although she's not in a burn position anymore. So let's just heal that off. Go patch him up. There we go, heal myself. There we go, Kali is no longer burning. We can move her up slowly and I'll see you guys when we spot the Chosen or that last bolt. So it's clearly coming from the next room. I've clustered everybody close to each other to avoid spotting an enemy that I didn't want to spot. And we get more Spectral Zombies. And he spawns them. There's only two this time. I think he's getting tired. And we will be able to Bladestorm both of them. Oh no, there's another one over there, but he's gonna get shot at. Or he's gonna get shot at. That's not necessary, Heidi. You can just slash them with your blade if they get too close. Let's just... There we go, blade storm. Slash. And now that that's guaranteed to hit, that's actually really strong. Because that's 10 to 11 damage every time. Blade storm with the assassin blade is really, really powerful. Okay, still chosen action technically, but I think that final spectral zombie is just shambling along. Okay, now, um, we know that the enemies are probably in the next room, but there's a hole over here that we will probably spot them through. Then we've officially entered the room with the most resilient soldier we have, but again, nothing. And we get reinforcements over there. You're bringing in reinforcements. 
can be. It's just like the one. Carefully, preserve the specimen at all costs. Okay, so we need to grab this thing with us. It looks just like the commander, indeed. Confirmed acquisition of the package. Move to evac. Okay, but we know for a fact that uh, the warlock is still out there. So I'm not going to pick that up just yet. And there we go. Put everybody in a better position. The aliens are dropping in. And it is... Is that a mech? A shield bearer and a trooper. I don't know if that counts towards the 12 that we saw before. And I think we can spot them through the windows and doors, which is why I put them in those positions. There we go, through the window. From Marina first. And she actually misses. But Heidi doesn't. And Elena doesn't either, so the mech is almost down. Okay, so the Chosen probably gets another action. So I'm going to have to be careful. That Blasted Launcher is going to come in really handy now, I think. Mac is pointing. And the Chosen... Doesn't seem to care. Also need to take a, a look at my ammo count, because I think I'm pretty much out of stuff. Almost. Um... Let's see, I could throw another claymore to open up that wall, actually. So let's do that. Oh, are you... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, like this. So let's move Elena a little bit closer oh, so okay, she can uh, get that sh claymore in really nice position there. Um, so. I think that the warlock might actually be somewhere around here as well. So if I throw the claymore, is that going to be in the wall again? I'm just going to put it over here just to be sure that it's visible. Like Place that. Explosive. Claymore shrapnel. Okay, that's that. So now we can use... Ah, we can't. I can't see it. So let's just use Christina and put it over here. With her lightning reflexes shot, she can hit the claymore. Blamo. That takes out the mech and blows out the wall over here. But I still don't see the warlock. Which is fine, I guess. Um, oh, she can't see... Huh. She can't see the trooper anymore. Interesting. I could go outside and, of course, rent the shield bearer. But that's not gonna help me too much. So let's use Marina to kill the trooper first. First things first. Like that. She gets her kill coin count nice and up. The reckoning for all of your offenses against the elders, Commander. And I could go over here with... Heidi. And I still can give her an extra action if need be. So let's just use run and gun. A run and gun. And put her over here. On the corner. Probably not the best position. Because the warlock is still out here somewhere. There he is. Too much of the elders' time has been wasted already. Their plan slowed by your clumsy interference. There will be no captives taken today, Commander. All those you send, you send to their death. I don't think so. But I have a 100% shot on the shield bay and a 74% chance for a critical. So if I do this, please, there we go. That was, I think, just enough. Okay, so we get an ability point and she has implacable now. So she can't be hit. So let's just put her in the middle of everything here. And say hi to the to the warlock. So she can take some shots. And then the Templar. Oh, that counts as a melee attack probably. I could use Christina to give Marina another action. 
Can she use that blasted launcher to fire all the way around? Because I think she can, right? Yep. She definitely can. And if I blow open this wall, that's probably not a good idea either. Um, so let's just do this. Let's just do this. How is that going to work? Whee! Boom! So that shreds his armor. He does regenerate health, but at least the armor is gone. Kelly. I could actually use Kelly to give Heidi another action, but I think I'm going to wait until the next turn to do that. Um, Kelly can go over here for now. Heading out. And then reload. Because I'm pretty sure the Warlock is going to go for Heidi now. Um, and Lena. I'm pretty sure the melee attack, the rent counts as a melee attack. So that isn't going to work. I could, though, make a ghost. That is interesting. Since I can't use my focus for anything else, I could make a ghost. I want to see that happening. So, there we go. Oh, this is so awesome. And she gets two focus because uh, Lena had to focus when she started out. And now, I can actually try that out safely. So let's just try and rent the Warlock. Uh, like this. He might be immune to melee attacks, but I'm not exactly sure if rent counts as a melee attack. It does. It does. Okay, now we know for certain. And she can parry the rest. I will show you what true mastery of the gift looks like. We will cleanse this world in the name of the Elders. Beastmaster, okay. Two faceless. Not a problem. We can deal with those. And Bladestorm, and that might actually kill it. <laughs> Oh man, am I glad I took Bladestorm. Bladestorm is ridiculous. Every melee range, where is that one going? Does he know where... He knows where Kelly is. That is ridiculous. He definitely knows where Kelly is. That is annoying. And he goes up. Mind Scorch on Kelly. Because now the door is open. And she's dazed. Okay. That was annoying. Now let's use the ghost. 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 There's the ghost. To rend the... Uh, the faces over here. That will not kill it. Apparently. But hey. That's a good start. I can finish it off. Why the hell is she going? Okay. There she is going. And the frame is really dying. I... Really sorry about that. And that's gonna dissipate the ghosts. No. There we go. Then, uh, Lena can do the same. Since she's basically useless at the moment. Uh, she might be able to... Well, both rent the faceless and revive... Kelly. At least she should be able to. Otherwise, I should have just moved her and not done anything. But she can, since she does get the parry. And we get another Elyrium Core from a summoned enemy. That's actually really cool. Um, then, there we go. I wanted to select that, but there we go. Revive. And I mean, this game doesn't have the right to slow down this much. It's not that graphically impressive. It's not... It's running on a PS4 Pro, for crying out loud. And it seems to run just as badly on the on the normal PS4. And now we can just parry. Then let's get both Kelly. Where the hell is he? Oh, there he is. Um. Oh yeah, he he's got nowhere to run because this is the edge of the map. That's really good. So let's put Heidi over here. Because I have a plan. So that's Heidi. Oh, crap! Oh, there is a third pod. Well, that's not good. 
Um. Oh, crap a doodle. That is definitely not good. Um. Crap. Okay, I didn't expect that. That's another double Archon. Oh, this is this is really risky. I'm gonna put Marina over here. Let's move already. Cause those three didn't move. Which is interesting, because now I hope. <gasps> oh, wait, wait, wait. I saw it. There we go. There we go. I can launch the frost bomb up there. So that gives us a little bit of time. But that also means that I really need to kill the Chosen now. So that's going to hit all three of them, I think. So they're all frozen. Okay. Now. Whoo. Whoo. I still have a few extra bond actions that I can take. So I'm not entirely out of the fight just yet. Can I get up top here? I actually can. And I will. So these guys are definitely frozen, right? Yeah, they look frozen. So I need to get somebody up here. So Christina, move. Oh, that's, that's flanked. So let's put it over here. So that at least gives her a good position. I can use the her acid bomb in the next turn. So that's going to give them damage over time as well. Now, the biggest problem. This guy. Um, I do have rapid fire. And that can be a double crit. But that's still not going to kill him. Let's try it anyway. That's a critical. And he actually gets extra damage because of brittle. And another critical. That was 40 damage in one go. I think I can finish this. Yeah, combat protocol will be enough. <laughs> okay, that was by the skin of our teeth. Oh, what the hell is going on now? Okay, the camera just moves weirdly when I use combat protocol. But the warlock was killed. There he goes. Okay. Kelly goes to Colonel, which is really, really good. And now those other guys should still be frozen. Great job, Commander. But there's no trace of that Chosen left. I've got a feeling we haven't seen the last of them. Still, at least we ruined their plans today. So I'm gonna put Elena up here as well. The more people we have up here, the better. Uh, so let's put her over here. In short order. And I think that's her final action then. Whoo! Am I glad I took that frost bomb and didn't use it before? And the old tree just frozen. Okay. That is really good. Because I think they're in a nice batch. To just toss a few more explosives at. That acid bomb is going to do nicely. The MP is not going to do anything, I think. So if we want to do anything else, we're going to have to see if we don't have any extra explosives there. But they're still frozen. So apparently only the Spectre is out of cover. But the Archons are also really easily hit because of Frozen. Now. Um... First things first, let's fire at one of them with a pistol. I could just do a flank shot on the Spectre, there we go. So that's six. And then we can do face off with Christina, although I should have used the bomb. I'm gonna use the bomb, the bomb instead, because the bomb actually gives us damage over time as well. So acid bomb. I might even drop the floor, but I don't think so. Acid burn on all of them. Then Kelly. I think I'm going to use Kelly to give Heidi an extra shot. So Heidi can reload. And I don't think I'll get very good shots from here now. So let's try and get a little bit closer. Although I don't think it'll help us that much. 
I think we should probably just get close enough. As close as possible. Can I get her up here? No. Just one move short. So Kelly. Can Kelly do something? It doesn't seem like she can right now because she wasn't Colonel yet. So I could put her. Can I put her up here? Aha, I can. I can put her up here. Sure thing. That gives her a better position for now. I'm hoping these guys actually stay <laughs> stay frozen because otherwise I'm going to make uh, a big mistake here. Um, so let's put Heidi over here. I don't have the range to actually get her into a blade position. So just over here. Then while she's moving, I can give... Wait, wait, wait. How far can Lena go? She can't go far enough. But she might get into a position where she can do something. Because she still has that storm. You know what? No. Uh, Elena. Can you give one of your actions to Lena? That should give her enough range to actually get there. So there we go. Now Lena can actually rend one of these guys. And hit the rest of them. So let's just do this. Feel the power of the Templars. And slash a boo. Rend damage increased. And then we can bury her in a second. But I think, yeah, Elena still has an action now as well. Um, I should probably kill one of the Archons now. Yeah, let's kill this Archon. There he goes. Death to the invaders. Um, Lena can just parry. And then Marina, can, can she actually get up here in one action? I think she can. Yeah, she can. Tired of waiting around. I'm guessing the Spectre actually counts as a, a robotic unit, right? Because this might actually help just a little bit. Okay, where is that going? Yeah, Fire away with the EMP. That shouldn't do any extra damage. Because Lena will not be affected. And that didn't take out... Did that take out the Spectre? I think it did. Oh, crap. Okay, didn't expect that. I mean, he could have gone for Lena, but apparently he didn't. Okay, that's fine. I just need to move everybody out of that range. Hello? Because I think this is it. Just that final arc on, then uh, we can actually just leave. Shouldn't go through the burn. But I can put... Uh, Elena over here. I go where I am needed. Christina over here. Que está bien. Who else is going to get hit? Lena. Lena can go over here. And I'm actually wondering if that stunning strike... That stun strike might actually drop him out of the air, no? I want to try that. Sounds like it's something that that should do, be able to do. There we goes. <laughs> okay, that is really cool that you can use that for that. So that drops the Archon out of the sky. Oh, crap. I can't see him. Um, no biggie. Let's just put... Yeah, let's just put Heidi as close as possible. And then just fire at him. 95%. That should be pretty nice. Was that a miss? No. A dodge. Okay. But she can get... Oh, we got an extra action. We got an extra action. Then you're definitely dead, buddy. Are you gonna go? Yep, there he goes. Oh, that was... Glorious. Implacable, nobody's gonna get hit, so let's just move uh, Heidi down already. And same for Lena, let's just move to the extraction point, because I think we're done here. I think we're definitely done here, so see you guys in a second. Well, Lena is in a bit of trouble, but I hope she gets out of there. Ooh, okay, they're gonna toss... I hope Lena just didn't drop down, because the floor was giving out. Yeah, okay, she actually has been damaged. Um, I don't know what the camera is doing. God damn it. Where is she? Oh, are we... 
Uh, we can't forget to pick the prototype up, by the way. Um, do we get... Where is Lena? Okay, Lena just got dropped down. But that gives her... Well, she's in range of the, the, the prototype now. I hope that was in, in range of picking that thing up. Because, yeah, okay, it is. So let's pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. And uh, let's move her out. Like, uh, over here, maybe. Everybody else can go to Overwatch. Um, I don't know why I can't really swip, swap, swip, swap, uh, swap units here. But let's put everybody in full cover. Finally. Let's put everybody in full cover and uh, yeah, on Overwatch, so we can kill everybody who comes out of that uh, dropship. And there we go, the final dropship coming in, which seems to be another shield bear. Shield bear launching a mech. Fine. Fine. Let's just murder them all. Hi, fellas. So, who's gonna fire first? Aha, that's really good. Elena fires first, removing the armor of the Lancer. And that's gonna kill the Lancer. There we go. I think he dropped down. Yeah, 12 damage from that. And then the Shield Bear is gonna get blasted with another Shredding Cannon. There we go, very nicely taken out. So we only need to take out the mech. Enemy eliminated. Hi mech. I think you're in trouble. Yeah, you can point all you want, but uh, I think you're in trouble. So, let's just fire away. Oh, for fuck's sake. And as you can see, we sadly are back where we started this episode. Um, I had another crash. And again, one of those crashes that completely wiped my save file. And since this is an Iron Man run, there are no multiple save files. Which is probably going to be the reason why I'm never doing an Iron Man run again if I do another uh, series in XCOM. Um, so not only did we lose the entire mission, I had to re-download my previous save file from PlayStation Plus. So thank God for that. But this again goes to show how bad this port really is. Constant graphical glitches um constant crashes frame rate dips it's really really badly done um i'm of course thankful that we even got a console port of xcom 2 and war of the chosen but it goes to show how bad the support for the console port even is um because this game is just not up to snuff in regards to the console port what i'm gonna do is replay the mission uh, i'm not gonna show the mission again um it might turn out badly it might turn out better uh, i don't think it can go much better because we only got hit once um but yeah i'm gonna do this off screen and i'll show you the end of that mission right now so we're back at the end of that uh, mission let's hope it survives this time okay the warlock is still alive and we just had Too our final the final pulled well not really pulled the dropship no hits just yet. We actually finished off the sector pulled in uh, in two hits this time with a banish and an EMP bomb. Mind scorch on probably somebody who's close. Seems like Elena. We can fix that. No problem whatsoever. Oh, oh, what the? F okay. Um, that's a blade storm, right? Yeah. So there's two more, yeah, two zombies, spectral zombies still alive for some reason. You can see Lena has the subject already. And our evac point is on the other side of the building this time. There's the other zombie. There's actually three of them. And that one is probably going to spectral rupture. Or no. That's again a very far away blade storm. Let's hope he doesn't explode. He doesn't. Okay. Three people. Ooh, that one is going to go though. Okay. We have a soldier down. Get him back on their feet on the double. That is annoying because of course the zombie is going to be Ooh. The zombie explodes if I try to do anything with him. So now I need to think about this. I'm going to have to use my bomb actions here. Let's start with Lena putting down the Units. 
Please put him down somewhere. Yeah, I hope that doesn't go with the zombie. I don't know what the blast radius is on that spectral zombie. Um, and now I can move out and maybe hit one of the soldiers. I think I'm going to hit the one over there. Or maybe I should weaken them first. Wait. So Heidi can run and gun. Um, which means that I can use her to... Revive both Elena and Christina. Disoriented, okay. But that just means I don't, I'm not going to use her for anything uh, special. Christina as well. Now Kelly, of course, is also going to be too close to the rupturing zombie. But let's take this one at a time. I could move Heidi into running gun, which is definitely what I need to do. Um, but then, what is the best position for her? This is the trooper I can take out with... Hmm... I can take him out with Lena mostly, so I think I'm gonna go for over here. And see what I can do against the shield bear. Aha! But I might even have a better idea. How far can Kelly go? I think I'm gonna put it over here, and now we're gonna try something very, very stupid. Because the priest is burning, so I think he needs to go into stasis after this. Um, oh, but I also need to kill the rupturing zombie. Can Christina still do that? No. But, let's, first things first. Let's do a combined dual strike on the shield bay. Apparently the shots on that isn't, aren't great, but let's try it anyway. That's a nice seven. I don't know what Kelly's going to do. It's going to be all up to her. Oh, there we go. Okay. So shield bear down. Um, so I think Lena move to rent the elite trooper. For the so that should be that. Slash. Ah, he's disoriented. That's even better. Um, I'm going to parry her. And then Marina can actually take out the Spectral Zombie if she doesn't miss a 96% chance. And I think that didn't hit anybody, but everybody's out in the open now, so this is definitely not good. That's it, I'm out. Priest is still burning, Trooper is disoriented. But of course, the Warlock is the biggest problem at the moment. He could have a nice shot to basically... Wait, are you are burning, dude. Oh, gold. Ah, that's Kelly. Kelly's damaged, but not down. The trooper is moving out of the way on Overwatch. And then, ah, he goes for an, a mind control. A mind control on Elena, which is fine, I think, because she's still disoriented. Ah, no. That's now removed. Okay. Ooh, gold. Things aren't looking good, and that priest is Priest, go down, please. Or is that at the end of the enemy turn? That might be at the end of the enemy turn. Doesn't he care about burn damage, then? Because that's a bit weird to me. So the trooper can go down to a pistol shot. But Christina isn't in the best of positions here. Um, I could lob... Ah, that could also be an option. I could lob her corrosive grenade, which she still has, up there. So let's put it over here. Oh no, he goes, he went into Overwatch. Yeah, he went into Overwatch, but he's disoriented. No, that was a solid hit. On Overwatch and disorientation, that was bullshit, but let's do this on the Warlock. So that should remove all his armor and maybe give him an acid burn. Yeah, there we go. All armor gone and acid burn. First things first, let's try to put Marina up there. Yeah, okay. I know I know she's still in trouble. Um, oh, the frost bomb might actually be the best thing. I don't know if that removes the mind control. I would think so. Frost bomb? Frost bomb. So he's Acid Burn and Frost Bomb. Here we go. 
frozen and that removes the mind control, right? Yeah, okay. Whew. That is perfect. Because um, that means that I have those two extra shots to uh, take care of these guys. Because Kali can go up here and just blast the priest in the face. On my way. And then Lena could actually just rend the trooper. Should turn the camera to see if I don't damage anybody else here. I need to do it like this to avoid damaging anybody. And that should get us our final focus. And then I'm going to use that in a second to have a, a very nice finishing move. Because I used that Ionic Storm in this, uh, in this match already. So let's put it a little bit closer to... What do I think I can just reach that right Yeah, So I'm just going to parry her. Then... Um, I could start firing at the Warlock from here. But I should probably put it in a better position first. So let's put it up here as well. Since we need to go up anyway. The frame rate is dying again, so I'm hoping this doesn't crash once more. Priest, 86. That was an 86% miss. That's not good. Because um, that was my final move. Todd! Oh god. He got out of the frost. He got out of the frost. And now the priest is starting his mind control shenanigans. Okay. At least Kelly's safe from fire. I'm gonna suppose the warlock doesn't really. So the acid burn keeps going. Oh, he's running away. Mind Scorch. Again. Lovely square texture. Oh, stop it! Come on. <sighs> Ah, okay, so let's move Marina in between these two, so we can get them back. Lena is no longer dazed, and she's not disoriented, it looks like, and then Christina is disoriented. Okay, not good, but hey, what do you do about that, eh? Um, I could still give an action to Christina, but I don't think that's going to be necessary. Uh, the priest has taken a really, really good position. Same as the warlock. Let's see what we can do here. Can I make a ghost that puts it on a very far position? If I do it on this guy... I'm wondering if the ghost actually gets an extra focus. So ghosts... With the extra focus over there, which is good. Um, now, I think I can rent the priest now, yes. Yes, so, rent the priest. Please go down, or at least... Yeah, he goes down, there we go. Advent priest dropped. Mind control lost. Pray for your offenses against the elders' holy servants. Then, uh, I think I'm going to just blast away. You know what? I'm going to keep the blasted armor for in a second. So let's just go closer, but not too close. Let's put it over here. Is he going to come closer? No, Beastmaster. Two faces, but that doesn't mean that his turn is over, sadly. So one face is going down, other face is going down as well. I'm going to have to move against this guy. Mind control on Elena again. Hey, there we go. Her will is so low that she probably won't resist. Yeah. She's been mind controlled like three times already. Okay, there we go. So first things first, blast the bomb. Has a wide radius, and I think I might even... Is that hitting the... No, it's not. Yeah, so I can take out his cover. Probably all his, all his back cover as well. I'm just going to wipe this area clean. Uh, like this. I don't care about the faces too much. I know I'll probably be able to deal with those. There we go. 
Kofi removed, so let's focus all our fire on the Warlock first. So the Warlock is out in the open. I have a few pistol shots and they're all 70% chance. We can even give him uh, some extra burn. So let's just start doing that. Her shots are actually pretty good, even while disoriented, she still hits 70%. Let's see, um, Lena, how much damage do you do at the moment? Eight and nine, so that's not gonna kill these guys. Unless I weaken them. Do I still have face-off? No, face-off is gone. I probably can only do that once these days. Uh, let's move Kelly up again. I still have the ghost as well, by the way, so let's... I might be able to rend... Yeah, let's rend... This face is damaging the other faceless. That doesn't really matter. I don't know why they keep focusing on the mind control dudes. We know. So that didn't kill this guy. But with Lena now, we can probably rend the other guy from the other side. Like this. And kill both of them. Feel the power of the Templar. Yeah, I know. Elena is up there. Don't mind. There we go. Double kill. Uh, we get some more focus from all of that, and a little McCoy. And that means that we have a big move coming up if we can. Um, I can't just parry this ghost as well. Now, I think I'm gonna go as close as I can and rapid fire on this guy's ass. <laughs> I still have three ammo. Um, I can run and gun, but. I can move closer. So if I move as close as possible, right next to our uh, mind-controlled trooper here. Do I get a shot? Yeah, I get a shot. It's 68. Um, rapid fire is 53. But with a 68% critical. So I'm going to take that. Double 50-50 chance. First one misses. And second one doesn't. But it's not a... Critical. Let's keep firing those pistol shots at him as well. If they hit, yeah, damn, criticals. Criticals. No, no, it's not trivial at all. I'm gonna keep firing at your ass. Ah, that was a miss, sadly. Now, there are options here. I could use advanced teamwork to give Heidi another move. If I manage to hit this 68% shot, then he's down. So please, Heidi, don't... Don't miss... There we go. Okay, and now we just need to hope that we can get to the evacuation points without the game crashing. Oh, crap. Um, I've evac'd um, Elena already, but I kind of forgot that there was another batch coming in with a dropship. Um... Nothing too bad, I just need to grab the uh, the extra, the, the, the prototype, the prototype, the extra. Um, and he's supposed to be still sitting here, yeah, okay. So I think Lena has the biggest movement speed. So let's just grab Lena, she can actually just reach the prototype over here, so that's going to be it. So final dropship coming in. Mac uh, officer and trooper. Fine. I think I might just evac, by the way. Unless one of them... Probably one of them is going to go into Overwatch, but... I still have an EMP bomb to take out the mech. Um, if I get a few shots on some of the weaker dudes... That's a dodge on the officer, but a burn. And that uh, might have been a kill, but nope. So they're moving to the back here, but I think the ghost might actually be able to take that out. The ghost can even take the overwatch. So let's grab the ghost. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. I can't. I don't have control. I don't have control just yet. Please don't crash. There we go. Okay. I could do a 100% shot on the Mac. But I think the combat protocol might even be better because that's 9 to 10 without 
using, um, well, hitting the armor. So that's that. Zap. Five damage it says, but then four extra overwatch removed. Okay, then the Templar Ghost can go and hit the officer over here. Maybe even towards the mech. There we go. Won't even matter because I'm going to use the EMP bomb anyway. Because that only does two damage on the mech and that's going to dissipate the ghost as well. Then I might actually do this now. Because I think Lena still has... Yeah, she still has full focus. So if I put down the prototype, then I can actually use her fancy new ability. Because she has full... And I think that even gives me a trophy if I do that now. Because that's going to be the second time I've re used all of her uh, all of her available stuff. So this is the Ionic Storm. So have fun with this one. Because it's a really cool thing. She needs to be in the center of it though. So that was a bit weird. I thought she could do that from a distance. But she needs to be in the center of the storm. And then this happens. Boom! So that kills the mech and she gains focus back for the amount of uh, kills she got. So that's that. Um, then I can use... Um, yeah, I could have used Marina for the finishing blow, but then again, she's not in a really good position to do any of that. Um, I think I might be able to... This is really hard to see, but if I move from where the trooper is, this should be a flank shot. So if I do this, I have a flank shot on the trooper, and that's going to be a 100% kill. There we go. And that's the final one. So last time, this is, was where the game crashed, but it didn't. We even got an extra action. So let's just move everybody closer. Might even pick up the, uh, the, the thing on the way. So let's put Marina over here. Christina in the evac zone, and I'll see you guys when we evac. So you won't believe this, but it crashed again, right before I could evac. Um, you're looking at my save files right now. It deleted my save file once again. So this is the third time in the same playthrough that this happened. Um, I'm going to make this the episode for now. I'll do the um, this mission again. Um, hoping that it won't continuously crash. So my save file would have been campaign 75 because of all the retries I did at the beginning of this playthrough. Um, but... Seriously, fuck you, Blind Squirrel Games. This is a really, really bad port. And to anybody who's uh, even considering buying XCOM 2 on Switch, since it now has been announced that it will, it will release over there, wait for the for the reviews. Because if this is the quality that Pyraxis is going to continue to support, even though it was passed on to a different developer, um, maybe I should even say 2K Games then, um, don't buy it. Because, I mean, this is a broken piece of shit. I love XCOM. I absolutely adore XCOM. It's a really, really good game. But the port of it is just ridiculously bad. And an excuse... Saying that it, it's, it should run on a PC is not an excuse. If it, sh it can't run on a console, then don't make it for fucking consoles. But this is ridiculous. It's a game with subpar graphics. It's not... It does, it's graphically looks hideous. It's not good. It's almost PlayStation 3 level graphics. This is not what we expect from the current generation. And then definitely the frame rate dips, the graphical glitches, constant graphical glitches, the slowdown, incredibly long loading times. And then this, these crashes that just cause your save files, 30 hours of progress, just gone if I didn't have the backups on PlayStation Plus. This is ridiculous. But that's the end of my rant. Again, I love XCOM, but the port is really, really badly done. Keep that in mind if you want to purchase this in the future. Um, but thank you guys enormously for watching. I'll try to do this mission without crashing. If it doesn't work, then I fear that this might be the end of the playthrough. I hope it's not. You'll see that in a few days if the next episode comes out. But for me right now, this is uncertain. So uh, thank you guys enormously for watching and for the support. And I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.